In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a weighted total for your students' grades. Um, you should have a weighted total column default when you create a Blackboard site. If you don't have one, you can create one in the Add Calculated Column area, but I'm going to assume that you have one already. Um, if you go to the weighted total um, cell and click on the pull-down menu, you will see the Modify Column link and I'll click on the Modify column. And the Modify column for the weighted total is going to look quite different than the Modify column uh, for the regular columns. And we're just going to use the weighted column to uh, weight our grades. And I'm going to scroll down beyond the primary display. You can change the primary display if you'd like. You can change the secondary display if you'd like. Um, but the real heart of the weighted totals is in section 3, the select columns area. Now you can select the columns that you have created um, or that were created for you in Blackboard when you created assignments or tests. Uh, right now I've just got my final exam and my midterm exam that I want to be calculated in the weighted total. Um, so if I click on final exam I highlight that and if I click on the arrow button right next to that window the final exam will appear um, in the selected columns area. And I can click on my midterm and do the same thing, and I will choose that as well. And I'm going to tell Blackboard that my final exam is worth 50% of the final grade, and that my midterm is worth 50% of the final grade as well. And if I scroll down, I'll notice calculate as running total and it's good to leave the default checked as yes. That way the students will see um, a realistic view of what their grade looks like at the moment. Um, you also have those same options. You can include the column in the grade center calculations or not. By default it's set as yes. Um, you can show the column in my grades. Um, you should leave that at yes if you want your students to see the uh, weighted total. And then you can also show the statistics for the column in my grades. They can see what the average and the median is beside their own grade. And I'll go ahead and hit submit. And I have modified that column. I'll hit close and now you will notice that it has calculated my midterm and my final exam and produced a weighted total for both of those for all of my students. And that's creating a weighted total.